kind of prepared to move it tomorrow, but it's the 4th of July, and I think really technically the way we have it set up right now, we'll be leaving on the 6th. We are waiting for paperwork to get finished. I might spend my first night on the boat. Definitely be a memorable 4th of July. Excited. Um, I will give you a tour of the boat. Now, I'll probably do it a, a, a nice slow tour because uh, I know that when, you know, in somewhat tight spaces, it can get kind of dizzying. If you really want to see it and I'm going too slow, just fast forward. <laughs> what I, I've been saying over at Crystal McConnell's house, who is a Spartan friend, uh, we've done a lot of hurricane heats, um, extreme endurance type uh, events together and so I've been staying with her and her kids. She's such a great mom, great person, great friend. It's always very encouraging, very real and even so much so that uh, where the boat is at and where her house is at is about 45 minutes to an hour away and she dropped off some stuff that got delivered to her house um, just to swing by, check out the boat, brought her son with her. So glad that I got involved in those events and the people I've met. Okay, so what you're looking at here is we're facing the back of the boat and this window opens up to the back seating area. There's a bunch of cushions that go down. We have them up because it's been raining. We'll turn around. Now we're facing forward and we're gonna go into the starboard forward room. All the rooms have queen beds in them and closets and then also four dressers below the beds. They're all set up a little bit differently. The forward rooms have the beds facing sideways and the back rooms have the beds facing towards the front or bow. But all these rooms have leaky hatches and leaky pour lights so all those have to be replaced and all the trim it's not horrible but at the same time it's just weird that we have eight that are pouring and another five or six that leak a decent amount now this is the master. This is the only one that is a little bit different. It has a little seating area right there. And then this is behind that bulkhead or behind the window, behind the bed is where the engines are at, or at one engine. Fuel tanks are underneath that mattress and the AC unit for the room is underneath the mattress. You never hear anything or smell anything. And I'm gonna move those bean bags so you can see into the bathroom. So this, like I said, this is the master. So it's a big walk-in shower, at least big for a boat or vessel. They all have electric toilets. I've switched all of the toilets to fresh water and not salt water, even though they do have the option. A decent amount of storage. We'll probably get rid of the couch and put in a dresser. Now we will go through the galley or the kitchen. This boat has two refrigerators, two freezers, a washer and dryer combo, which you'll see right here in this cabinet. The 
boat is also European 230, 50 hertz. Pretty deep storage in these lower ones. This forward room is Emma's room when she's on the boat. Right now we have buckets catching water and we have all of the hatches on order. The forward rooms are wet heads, so the toilet and the area around it gets wet when you take a shower. The back ones have their own separate. Then we are going to the back. Her stern. Ella's bathroom's a little bit bigger. And like I said, this one has the toilet outside of the shower. The shower is a little small. And the cabinet has a little bit of water damage from the hatch that's leaking above it. But nothing that I can't fix. That has an escape hatch, as you can see. Tiny little storage here. Ella actually has more storage than most of the rooms, with the exception of the master. Yo ho, yo ho, come sail with me on There's an escape hatch that looks outside. Swab the deck and, and a water bucket and some animal feet pads. The sirens call the howling across the ocean's journey. Come one, come all aboard the ship, ye may not be returning. Thursday morning. Hope to leave tomorrow. 
head over to Tampa. I'm having my breakfast of champions, peanut butter and jelly, and a Coke to wake up. Currently, I am in Fort Lauderdale. I'm waiting for my parents to show up, mom and dad. They will be here this evening around 10 with their stuff and then we're supposed to head out in the morning if everything goes right and it'll take about five or six days yeah i'm just getting stuff organized and uh now my phone's ringing Join me next week as we head through the cramped canal spaces of Fort Lauderdale, passing through seven bridges on our way out to open water. A stop at Miami for the evening before we head on over to Key West and then north to Tampa.